I told uh, I told Joe Sackett that story, and he goes, you know what's funny? You know, he's coaching defensively, but he wants his son to score a lot of goals. <laughs> so everybody wants that. But you know what? He, he, he is, what I think what Joe Sacco does so well is he does a great job of reading who's going well early in games and then rewarding them with ice time and, and not playing favorites. And I think even if you're a fourth-line guy, like last night, Chris Durno scores a great goal in the fourth period, excuse me, uh, that, that tied the game and, and got into the fourth period in uh, overtime. But I, I think what we saw was an example of here's a guy who's normally on the fourth line, but because of the way he was playing, he got extra ice time. I think I think Joe Seiko does a great job, guys, of reading the team and, and rewarding players. I really and, like it. Oh, he's, you know what? No nonsense. And you and, 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 you and he, that but he's big a good guy person. Uh, have taught me a lot. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, right. Let me let me ask you something else. I don't understand what's going on. If I'm a businessman, I can't I can't let my employees be off for two weeks. I'm serious. Isn't this a major problem? They're off for what? Isn't it two weeks? They're off for, uh, yeah. You figure for the Avalanche, it's a Saturday. Uh, it's their last game, and they don't come back again till <coughs> two weeks, and then a Mon- and then on Monday, on uh, March 1st, they're back uh, pl- playing the Detroit Red Wings. And I, I, you know what? The belief is, and there'll be a review of this uh, by the league of whether or not they're going to continue this. I think part of it is there's this belief of that. People are going to be watching the games and, and helps the sport grow. But I think it, it's not bad that it's in North America. It was really good in 2002 when they played in Salt Lake. I think there was a lot of excitement about it. It got down oh, to the yeah. U.S. Against, US against Canada yeah, yeah, for the yeah, final, yeah. and people were talking about oh, it. Man, I loved it. Yeah, yeah that, that was fun. I like the rules. But I, I, think, I <laughs> believe the next one is in Russia. Uh, and uh, so I think th- there's going to be a debate on whether or not the league is, is going to let this happen. Because yeah, you're right. You're, you're shutting down your business. For, for two, two weeks. weeks. For two weeks. Do they have any that are going to be? Uh, do the Avs have anybody that are playing for anybody on their uh, national teams? Uh, well, you have you have four. There's four players that are going to the Olympics. So Paul Stastny will will be a top guy for the U.S. team. Okay. And and, and then you have Peter Budai may or may not get some time. He's a goaltender for Slovakia. Yeah. And then. Um, I, I know you're a big follower of the Belarus hockey Belarus, team. Belarus, yeah. <laughs> and, hey, let me tell you, I got, I got all their albums. Oh, I got the wrong one. <laughs> and Ruth Ponsley is going to play for them. Then there's another kid uh, who, who hasn't, hasn't signed a deal yet, as I understand it, but a draft choice for the Avalanche who uh, is over in uh, Norway is going to play for the Norwegian hockey team. So. Yeah,